and welcome to today's tutorial in the Surround Lounge. In today's mixing session we're going to be talking about 5.1 specified reverb. This can be achieved in uh, a number of ways. Should you have a 5.1 specified reverb plugin you can apply it to any of your tracks or groups just like you would any other plugin and from there you can change the information, the, uh, the settings or automate it to uh, apply reverb in the way that you want at the points that you want it. Because 5.1 reverb is quite powerful and it can overdo it at points, you'll maybe want to use it at specific points throughout the song. Otherwise, uh, you don't want it to be washing reverb at any points. In my example song, I used it only for one vocal note, which uh, I have automated to spread around the listener to make full use of 5.1's ability and to increase the entertainment factor of the song when listened back. Now, if you only have a multi mono source of uh, applying reverb, that's still good. Now what you need to do here is to open up the pot, your surround pot, uh, for the for the send channel, and from this you can change where you want the effects of this channel to go. And uh, So if you go to auto right and then play your track, it will record the automation details of where you move your mouse. This can be very effective in uh, moving the audio around your head make full use of different tracks and move around all of your instruments from place to place. You can even send the whole master through this from uh, speakers to speakers so that it's very disorientating for the listener, which can be a fun effect at times. Hopefully you'll um, get a chance to try some 5.1 reverb out soon and that you enjoy it. As always, please leave your comments and send them into uh, the surround lounge at gmail.com. Yeah.